All right, welcome to this week's Deal of the Week. Uh, today we are at 249 Chapel Street right here in Simcoe. Uh, really nice property listed by Mason Adcock, 549.9. Great property for first-time homebuyers. Maybe if you're self-employed, might be a really, really good property for you there. Uh, we've got some options. If you're interested in this place, give Mason a call. He'll definitely walk you, walk you through it. What we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to finance it. And we're going to give you some tips and tricks on what you can do. So we're going to look at two different options here. We, one, we've got... Perfect for you first time home buyers. The minimum down payment, how can we get this thing financed? What's our closing cost gonna look like? And what's our actual cost? Uh, the other one here, maybe you're self employed. Uh, maybe you're looking to buy your second property. We're going to show you what you can do with 20% down. Uh, for starters, that first time home buyer, what we're looking at here, a 25 year amortization. Property tax on this nice and cheap, $22.98, not too much. Um, the purchase price, like I said, $549.9. Deposit. So that's a deposit you're going to have to submit to the seller within 24 hours of your offer being accepted. Your down payment that's required, $29,999. Uh, this insurance premium. So you are going to have to pay a premium on this. So CMHC does give you access to that housing market uh, at a lower cost of entry, um, but they do charge a fee on that. So there is an insurance fee of $20,000. Don't worry, you don't have to come up with that up front. That's going to be added onto your mortgage, something you're going to pay off over the next 25 years. Uh, so when we look at your closing costs, that $10,000 that you submitted earlier, that's going to go right towards your down payment. So don't worry, it's not extra money you have to come up with. That will go towards this $29,999. I have legal fees that we have to pay. We have to pay taxes on those legal fees. When you're putting 5% down, you don't have to pay the appraisal fee. Uh, you do have some land transfer taxes, $34.74. You can see you're saving $4,000 versus because you're a first-time home buyer. Uh, we do have to pay taxes. So the $20,000, you have to pay the taxes on that up front. So that's $1,600. And we like to build in an adjustment. So when you're closing with that lawyer, it could cost you up to $1,000 um, in property tax adjustments. So what that means is maybe the sellers have already paid their property taxes into the fall. Uh, you just have to pay them back for the time that you're going to live there. So we budget those uh, a little bit high. could be up to 1000 bucks. Monthly mortgage payment, what you're looking at is thirty-one forty-two. You can see here for the you know the next buyer, you know if you already got a twenty percent down, uh, your payment's twenty-four seventy-eight. So why is that? You can actually have um, a longer amortization. You can go it over thirty years versus twenty-five years. Um, one of the benefits of this property, maybe if you're that first-time home buyer and you don't need that double car garage, one of the coolest things that we're starting to see more is is what's called house hacking, where you're renting out a portion of the house. This one doesn't have that legal suite to rent out, but it does have a garage. So maybe you can rent that out five hundred to a thousand dollars you've taken it right in the middle of 750 bucks doesn't go towards your qualification but what it does is that takes the money off of that monthly obligation you have to make and your payment can go down towards 2500 bucks or on that 30 year amortization uh 1919 now a couple options that we have here for you if you're that first time home buyer you've got some questions you need to reach out to me or we've got a first time home buyers masterclass go to adamsacademy.ca um, and you'll give everything that you need to learn about buying that first home alternatively if you're um, looking to buy this as somebody maybe self-employed you love that shop be great for your business um, but you're self-employed and you've been turned down by the banks we've got a great great course on there on adams academy that will show you how to buy a property as a self-employed individual we've got great options for you uh, if you're interested give me a call check that out use promo code client and you can get it absolutely free thanks for watching and we'll chat soon